today I thought I'd make kind of a unique video. Uh, I wanted to talk about my daily routine, what I'm doing since 8 a.m. till the market open, I'm setting my limits, stock selection, my managing my trades. Uh, I will not go through the whole process in detail. I just want to show you a small part of every single thing I'm doing in the morning. The first thing I'm doing in the morning is I'm going through a list of 99 stocks. Definitely, I'm not going to be covering that 99 stocks in this video. Uh, let's take a look at that. First of all, I'm taking a look at is the daily chart and then the 16 chart. The 5 chart I have zoomed out to yesterday because I want to see the overall pattern, what is happening around here. Yeah. Anyway, daily charts, we're having a white bar candle. After white bar candle, we don't look for a breakout. We we'll look for a reversal, right? I mean, yeah. uh, if you play breakouts, you just don't trade at all. If you play the pinpoint entries, you could play a pullback inside. But this thing yeah. gapped up. So it's not much um, interested. Apple. Apple, look at this. There are actually a lot of bits. This is something a bit annoying around here, 148, uh, 42, Those are actually a lot of buyers which are sitting close to each other. When they're sitting this close to each other, it tells me that there is someone who wants to scale in. So I believe that this thing could actually uh, rip up higher. If there was, for example, 100, uh, 100 for 280, 100 for 270, 100 for 250, 100 for 230, you see that there are a, a lot of bits down here and people yeah. believe that it's going to drop lower. But when it's just that close to each other, okay, yeah. it shows you that there is someone who might want to scale into this price. Want to buy a little bit at 80, uh, a bit at 70, a bit, I mean, uh, as much as it's uh, going lower. So maybe yeah. this is around a strong support area around here and maybe today it's going to be uh, a long. Looking at the 60 minute chart, you had a gap fill. And now it's setting yeah. sort of for an ABCD pattern to the long side. The daily chart is an inside bar daily candle. So you could play this thing to the long side and you could play it to the short side. But looking at the 60 minute chart, especially depending on how this candle closes, we could play it both. We could play it long and we could play it short. I personally don't want to play it to the long side because of the 9 EMA. Yeah. Okay. But you could definitely scalp it to the long side if it breaks 143 and target the high 143.85, which is 85 cents profit. Or if this candle is going to close as a hammer and the five shows another hammer closer to the low, we could buy it and use the 200 moving average as a stop loss and scalp it to the long side, like really tight yeah. stop loss, pinpoint entry, and go to the long side. So I'll leave it and I want to see how this candle is going to, how the next five minute candles are going to close like. ABT, there is 200 moving average acting as a support. Yeah. See? So because of that, and there was already a huge drop, so I expect a bounce. So what I'm looking for on ABT, either to buy it at 118.75, stop loss 118.50, which is here on the 60 minute chart, or yeah. I would give it another attempt, buy it closer to the low and stop loss at the low. See, I, mean, I think today is going to be an inside bar to the long, or today we are just going to go to the long side. I yeah. don't really see it breaking down, though that could happen. Going through this whole list doesn't take me so much time. It takes around 20 minutes to 30 minutes. So by 8.30 a.m. I have my first draft. And after having this first draft, this is what I'm doing. What I'm going to do is by 8.50, I'll pick only the best ones which I like, okay? Yeah. What I would do after that is I'll set limit orders for my uh, entries. And uh, after 9, I'll just wait for the stocks to get filled and manage the positions. This is the way I'm doing it. For example, if I like multiple th things like um, ACB, I'd set a limit yeah. order to short at 698. Baba, for example, set a limit order to short at 164. CRM, set a limit order to buy there. Just set multiple multiple orders. Once yeah. I get filled, I'll just manage those positions. That's the way I'm going to be uh, trading today. Not the normal okay. breakouts. Why is that? Yeah. Because with the normal breakouts are good and they are consistent, but uh, the risk to reward is this. It's 3 to 1, 4 to 1, which is good still. Yeah. But with these type of entries, you can make more. So I'm not going to be trading the normal breakouts. I'll get those pinpoint entries. What's the maximum amount of orders you would put in for a day? I, I think it would be approximately around seven to eight orders. Right, okay. I'll not get filled on all of them. Usually I get filled on half yeah. of them, four, three, and then we'll see if it works or um, if it fails. For example, on Monday, I had five orders and all five failed. But yesterday I had seven orders. I got filled on three only, but two failed, one worked. And I made back all the loss from Monday. And finally, at 9 a.m., I go fishing. Now, why do I go fishing or why do I basically call it go fishing? It's simply because uh, I just set my limit orders. I don't enter with momentum. I don't enter at breakouts. I don't enter in real time. I don't wait for the entry, basically. All I do is I throw that hook in the water and I wait for the market to take the bait. Excuse me. 
Once the market takes the bait or once the market basically gets me killed, I, I start managing my trade. Honestly, I need to cancel this. I think I really need to cancel this one. I'm not comfortable with this one. Uh, this one is supposed to be a long of this level, but I feel at the same time that it could, if it grabs my order, this is a decent level of resistance and it could go all the way down. I'll down there and then I'll flip the position and also play it to the long side. But yeah. This is not a good one. This because one when we are going to be discussing um, the rules for these spin points, uh, one of the six scenarios which we will discuss is a down the nine EMA. Once you see that yep. the, close, the stock is closing around the nine EMA, you take a look at the sixty minute chart. If there are confirmation candles on the sixty minute chart, you buy it closer to the low. Put your entry at the high. Now finally, that all my limits are out there. My watch list is ready. Everything is ready. All I do is I wait for the market to open, let's wait for the market to open all together and see what's going to happen after. So I'm filled on NKLA. It's kind of going in my favor. Two hours now. I'll leave it. Let me watch some other positions and we'll get back to it, okay? I get filled on GM also up two hours so far, but GM is not looking good. You see it? Yeah. yeah might squeeze. You watch QS here. On GM, my stop was at 7 cents, so I need 49 since as my target i'm up for hours on nkla and realized right now you can see that uh but i'm waiting for the seven hours So yeah, basically you saw that I got filled on NKLA, I got filled on GM, the rest of my positions, unfortunately, they were not filled. That is basically my whole process from the morning till I am finishing my trades. And again, if you guys want to see the whole process in detail, make sure to hit the like button. If this video gets my record of views, or basically if I break my record of views and likes on this video, I'm going to be recording a whole video, an hour and a half video from 8 a.m. till 9.40, basically the whole process from stock selection, why I selected those stocks, where I put my limit orders, why I put it basically right there, how I manage my positions. It will all in one single video. Let me know what you think about this video and basically share your thought process with us. I'm really interested in seeing what you guys are also doing in the mornings. Maybe I'm very going to learn something from you and I hope you learned something from me as well. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.